Hello and welcome back, and today we are going to be checking out, in my opinion, a very underrated video from my channel. The Hidden Collection Geostone Bird Collection. Looking back on this one, I think I'm proud of it, because really, this is a good figure. Like, first one 18 scale pterosaur that could actually like, stain and not only be in the right position. The great pain apples. Really what happened is it got really overshadowed by other figures like Ankylosaurus, which came out in the same wave. Hammer collection Carnotaurus, the Hammer collection T Rex. So on, like, like, let's say you were having a conversation about dinosaur toys or something. When would you hear someone mention the Geostone Mergia? They are all about the Hammer collection Carnotaurus, T Rex, Calosaurus. You'll hear about BOTM, maybe even some of the new figures. But when the Geostone Mergia? Anyways, now that you've already made it through like 40 seconds of just me rambling on, let's just get into the view on this great figure. One of the main exciting things about this figure that makes it such a good figure is that it actually has foldable nice wings. Besides the Amber Collection Pyrandon and like the Amber Collection Dimorphodon, which are like 1 6 scale, this is exclusive to this figure. Which I'll just Give us more good care so we stop giving us things that can't bend their wings. Definitely works well. So you can get some nice flying poses like this, but also some great walking poses. Though, on mine at least, the, the back legs are a little too short for like when you do poses like that sometimes. Like, they kind of just don't reach to them. Otherwise, a great part of it. Looking at the head here, we have this nice bright colored beak with like some brown spots at the end. If you open up the mouth, we have a nice tongue inside. Up here is the nice awesome crest. And now, like look, there's just like the blue head actual skin of it. Main complaint with this figure, and it's not just mine, I've seen it like a Dino Screams one. In, but the, the neck has really nice articulation. But like... It rubs off all of the paint for some reason. Like, look at the neck. It is destroyed. Moving to the body, we can see this nice underbelly paint. Then up on top, there's the nice blue and brown. And then here it connects with the other colors moving through the wings. The blue continues a little bit onto the wings, which, seriously, Mattel. You need to learn to put paint on. Look, you spent like. I don't know, 10 cents to use like three more drops of paint and it looks so much better. Mattel, just do that with all your figures, please. Then looking actually at the wings, you can see there's some nice brown striping going across it and then also painted nails. Thank you, Mattel. Then starting with the articulation here, in front of you have the nice open mouth then for the head, it can go up and down, swivel. And then for the neck, same thing, up and down, swivel. And for the wings here, they can go up and down and then you can fold them however you want. The hands swivel, go up and down, like every part of articulation on this figure. Then for the legs and stuff, they're all the same, up and down, swivel. Up and down, swivel, up and down, swivel, up and down, swivel. All the same. Still great articulation on this figure. You can get some great poses. So now on to comparisons. First up, for comparisons, I'm going to be bringing in a Mattel human figure and a Mattel raptor just for general. Everyone has one of those size comparison. Next, I'll bring, be bringing in an average T-Rex just some general size comparisons. Now let's get into some more specific comparisons. So the pterosaurs, and now we have the 2004 Wave 2 Imaginex Dinosaurs Pteranodon, and then also the De Mattel Dominion Disandroptus. Next up, here it is with the Mattel Dominion Basic Figures Pteranodon, and here also with the Mattel Dominion Quetzal Quad. Comparison here. And for a final comparison quick, here it is with the Human Collection Concubinator, mm -hmm. like its wave mates. Good figure. So in conclusion, I, the Human Collection Geostone Bergia is an awesome figure. 
I just wanted to make this review, tell more people, no, but, like, people still do realize it's a good figure. <coughs> Recently, a poll series on what is the best 2023 Jurassic World figure, video will be on, on that soon, so be glad to watch it. But, anyways, like, it did end up getting 12th place, but then again, I do wish it could have gotten higher. Like, yeah. But, in conclusion, it's a good figure. I recommend getting it. feel like it's a little underrated, especially with things like the Hammer Collection and Connor Tours coming out. But, anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you made it all the way through, like, six minutes of me rambling, then I think you would definitely be interested in watching more of me rambling. Click on one of these videos, like, and subscribe. Bye.